name is Grant Fritchie. I'm the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software. Today, I want to talk to you about deadlocks. Deadlocks are a problem. They really are. It's a performance issue that occurs when you've got two sessions that each has a resource that the other needs to complete its transaction. One of the resources will be chosen as a deadlock victim and it will be rolled back. This causes all kinds of issues. It's downstream to the users. You see it, you know, you see errors. Um, reports come back into your error log. It's just problematic all around. The real issue is trying to identify when it happened, why it happened, so you can get it fixed so it doesn't happen anymore. I'm going to show you some of how SQL Monitor can help you out to get that done. That's SQL Monitor from Redgate Software. Let's take a look. Before I show you SQL Monitor and how it responds to a deadlock, I need to generate a deadlock. So I'm going to go over here, and I've got a simple query. It's doing an update against the table. I'm going to do a begin trans and execute. Then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to update a different table with a begin tran and execute. Now both transactions are currently open and currently executing. Neither transaction has committed yet or rolled back, so they're both still holding locks. So when I then try to execute this statement, one of these two statements will be chosen as a deadlock victim by the op, uh, by uh, SQL Server. And this one was the one. SQL Server determined that this was a deadlock, and so it, made, it chose this one as a victim. Now if we switch back to here, what we should see here in just a second is we should see the alert come through on monitor, and there it is. So if we go to high, we take a look we can see that we've got our deadlock that just occurred. So let's open that up and take a look at it. Now the deadlock does involve two sessions. Now there is such a thing as a parallel deadlock that can involve one session. We'll get into that another day. But this, your basic deadlock does involve two different sessions, two different processes running. Um, we've got the system identifiers right here, process number 58 and process number 60. One was identified as the victim. We also get the SQL query fragment, which caused our deadlock. And we've got a whole bunch of performance data down here showing us all kinds of details about what's going on in the system at the moment that the deadlock occurred. So we can see you know, how, what things are going on within memory, how things are being affected by CPU, and other things like that that could be possible indicators for why the deadlock occurred. Because remember, a deadlock is a performance issue. We can look at information about SQL Server. You can get lock wait times, um, other information like that. You can also see the top 10 most expensive queries. Um, if you've got Profiler enabled, uh, the trace enabled, you can see what all queries were running at the time. And you can use um, system processes to see what's going on within the system. But the real interesting information is the output from the deadlock itself. Because what we do is we capture the full deadlock graph. So all that information is available to you. And you'll see node 1, and you see the exact line on the input buffer that caused the problem. This is exactly where, inside the statement, we had issues. And you'll see node 2, which is our deadlock victim, and what statement they were running, which caused that deadlock to occur. You get to see the locks, the owners, the system process ID, which one was chosen as a victim, and you get it all laid out in a nice, neat fashion so you can understand precisely what occurred, where it occurred, and figure out how to solve that deadlock. And it's all available right here from SQL Monitor, and it's built right into the, sys right into the tool. There's nothing you have to do to enable it. This is enabled out of the box. Now just remember, deadlocks are primarily a performance problem. It's missing indexes, badly structured indexes, badly structured code, that causes transactions to run long that will lead to deadlocks. Tuning your queries, fixing your indexes is one of the best ways to address the deadlock issue itself. Thanks for listening. My name is Grant Fritchie. I'm the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software.